how this Seminar of the Angels came about. And some people ask, how come we, we Franciscans are looking after Seminar of the Angels in, in Bukit Bato, the, the parish, rather than St. Francis of Assisi? Because Seminar of the Angels is the patroness of, of uh, Franciscan order because St. Francis loved that little chapel of Seminar of the Angels very much. And how did this chapel come about? In the fourth century, Pope Liberius had a dream of our Blessed Mother telling him, build a church on a place where I'm going to actually show you this miracle. And it was a miracle of the snow. On the 5th of August, hot, sunny Roman summer, snow fell on the Esquiline Hill. And Pope Liberio said, this is where our Blessed Mother says a church is going to be built. The Patriarch of Jerusalem, Cyril, actually sent four monks with relics from the sepulchre of our Blessed Mother. And so the Pope actually sent his four Eastern monks into the peninsula of Italy, into Umbria, the Spoleto Valley. And then there, in Assisi, they built a little chapel and to place the relics there. They dedicated this church to Our Lady and even dedicated the altar to uh, the Assumption. And so that little chapel has always been known to be dedicated to Our Lady. Then St. Benedict came in 516 took over this little chapel on the portion of land, which in Latin is portiuncula, which is the, the name which we still use today. Portiuncula means little portion. And the monks who lived there used to hear angels singing. And some even saw angels ascending and descending on a ladder to this little chapel. And so therefore, this little place was called St. Mary of the Angels. And why it was attached to the Franciscan order? It's because St. Francis when he was very confused, when his dreams of becoming a knight were shattered, he used to pray in caves and in dilapidated churches. And Seminary of the Angels was one of them, including San Damiano, where the San Damiano cross actually spoke to St. Francis and go rebuild the church which you see is falling down. And the third church he repaired with his own hands was actually Seminary of the Angels. And so it was very dear to him. And then it was uh, at the Feast of St. Matthias, he actually heard the gospel being read and then he said, this is what I want, this is what I seek, this is what I desire with all my heart. Meaning, he found his vocation. So he's found his vocation at Samuel of the Angels. And then when friars meet together, I was always at Samuel of the Angels. And then when Francis died uh, on the 3rd of October, he said, take me back to the place where I love, at Samuel of the Angels. How he got the place also from the Benedictines was, he was chased out of another little chapel by a man and his donkey. And he went to ask the Benedictines if he could have this little chapel. And the Benedictines said, sure, have it, but make sure it is your headquarters. So today, it is still the mother church of the Franciscan order. And till today, on the Feast of St. Mary of the Angels on the 2nd of August, the friars give the Benedictines uh, some bread and some fish as our rental, up to this day.